disgusting during the Ipswich Man City match. A little word of advice for the fella in the crowd that... <laughs> <laughs> you, said, you said he noted something unusual during a Man's City match and one of the lads shouted out a football. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said something disgusting. Oh, well, same thing, mate. All right. Uh, <laughs> now, this is a word of advice to the chap in the crowd that we're about to see. If there's a throw-in right in front of you, there's going to be a camera right in front of you. And even if you have got a bat hanging in the cave, oh. it's not a good time oh, to pick no. it, you stupid boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's quick. But we slowed it down. Oh. 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 <laughs> it is coming such a good route. <laughs> <laughs> Our second third eye is a third ear, and it comes from Richard Parsons. He emailed us and simply said, Did I really hear the PA system at Huddersfield belt out N people's? moving on up as the final whistle sealed their relegation to <laughs> Division 2. Well, Richard, I'm afraid you did, but did you also notice the inappropriate tune stopped as abruptly as it started? Someone must have realised. There's the whistle. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oops, we made a mistake. It all went down to the final wire. There were three or four teams that could have gone down and somebody decided to put that song on. Right, now, just before I show you our last third eye, do you remember this one from a few months ago? Yes, it's Dogman <laughs> from the racetrack. <laughs> half man, half dog. <laughs> well, we thought, we thought that was a one-off, a one-off freak of nature, but we were wrong. Paul O'Sullivan was watching Teddy Sheringham being interviewed on a golf course on SkySports.com. Bradley, I expect you were watching that closely. Oh, he well, was, don't as, worry, it Teddy was in it. Right, now, I don't know how they all missed the very creepy hanging basket man in the background. Nothing's uh, agreed with United at the moment, so, um, you know, we're still waiting to hear from them, really. Of course, there's one game to go yet, but, I mean, what are your plans? What are you thinking inside? Um, that's right. exactly it, to, to wait to hear from Man United, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh. Oh, Dogman, hanging basket man. All right, if you spot any more of those or anything funny, strange, or something that we've just missed, let us know. Write to us or email. So, it really, all hinges on the FA Cup final today, doesn't it, for next week? P.O. Box 11, Eyes are Worth Middlesex, TW7 5QQ. Of course, there's a playoff Playoff. tomorrow as well, isn't there? Scottish. Scottish football, there's a full, full uh, programme, isn't there? Soccer AM. Spanish. At bskyb.com. But apart are. from all that, it's just but the makeup. Just just <laughs> what have they ever done for us? Yeah. All right, now it's time to climb aboard the showboat. Now y'all doing bumps and times along the showboat. We take time to mosey on down to the ballpark. So let's take a peek at who's stepping up to the plate. It is showtime. Welcome to the general election of trickery. Let's open up the ballot box and see what we got. Out loud in his manifesto with three, it's Paolo. Tethering those wild stallions with this little cutback. But on the battle bus, too, it's our Euro MP Dobby. And he's lobbying for your support. Here he is, up and away, and denying Cobb's campaign another term in office. But at number one in our opinion poll, the swingometer has so long towards the constituency of life. Inside with the Arsenal Liverpool fans to play Feed the Goat in a minute, but first we've got to say goodbye to Tim because he's about to get in a helicopter with David as well. They are off to the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff to deliver this, which is the actual match ball which the game will be kicked off with today, won't it? Yeah. Are you, know, go, are you really nervous? Yeah, I'm taking Fenners with me and David Look James. Look at Fenners in his whistle. All right. All and right. of course, you've been flanked by the uh, RAF boys. Yeah. Draw, draw, draw. See you then. Gotta right. go. Ooh, bye, Tim. Bye. See, See ya. ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Away they go. The helicopter is uh, is is parked over the other side of uh, of Sky, so it's going to take them a couple of minutes to get over there. 
Yeah. Um, in the meantime, we'll, we'll carry on with uh, Feed the Goat with the fans. Oh, Tim, bye! Have a nice time! Bye! Bye! <laughs> Scary stuff. All right, we'll catch up with Tim a little bit later and see how he's getting on. Ooh, there he goes. <laughs> right, and here we are outside in the car park. We've got the Arsenal fans. Yay! And we've got the Liverpool fans. Yay! As you know, there's an old English saying called feed the saying feed the goat. And he will score. And he will score, absolutely. And and that's what you have to do. But you're going head to head today. You are going head to head, as we know, because uh, today is the FA, FA Cup final. And since the competition started, we have followed the road to Cardiff, to the Millennium Stadium, to Wales. So you are playing for a prize. Your teams this afternoon are playing for the FA Cup trophy. But what else could we give away here on Soccer AM other than the Ratatouille trophy? Tubes, bring it on out. This is what you're playing for today, guys. It is the Ratatouille trophy. There he goes. There goes Tubes. Tubes. <laughs> Tubes. Can you get up for us, darling? You've got to go and fetch your practice balls now. Thanks very much. OK, then, fellas, how about that for you, then? Somebody's going to go home with the Ratatouille trophy. I'll just get our lovely soccer egg. Could you hold on to that for us, Joe? Thank you very much. Uh, now, I take it that you want to practice. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get Tubes to go and rally the balls around. And uh, after the break, we'll be back out here to play Feed the Goat for the Ratatouille trophy. <laughs> Helicopter. Uh, it's nice to see that Tim got the Colonel out to wave cheerio, Ginger alongside as ever. Uh, Freeloading Fenners has to sit in the middle of the helicopter, of course, or there would be a dangerous leaning to one side due to extra nose weight. Bradley! Hooray! But we are here to play Feed the Goat. I need a captain from each side, please, one from Arsenal, one from Liverpool, to see who is going to go first. Arsenal, you are out first, you get the call. Eight. It is tails. Liverpool, do you want to go first? You want to go first? Liverpool are going to go first. All right, then, guys, line yourselves up. Plenty of footballs for you. Need a couple of ball boys. Bradley, we're going to keep tubes company. Alan, you can just hover about here. Fetch any stray ones for us. Thanks very much. All right, then. No, not too much barracking. Arsenal. We've, um, we've lost the whistle. Are you any good with your fingers, Jason? <laughs> right oh then. OK, Liverpool, are you ready? Yeah. We have one minute on the clock. Join in at home. Jason McAteer, will you start the fans, please? There you go. Hey, yeah. straight in. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, panic setting now. Still got the one good one. Unlucky. 30 seconds left, you've got half your time, boys. Blimey. No cheating, one at a time. 15 seconds left, guys. Hey, great one. Nine, eight, seven, six, no cheating. Four, three, two, one. That was a legitimate one. Oi! Back it up. Were you watching? <laughs> Liverpool have got three. All right. Good score, fellas. Good score. Liverpool, come round the back. Three. Right. It was three. Liverpool, do you want to come round the back, swap places with Arsenal? Go on, boys. They got. Uh, they got. They got three. Well, they got seven. They did not get seven. How much have they paid you? Oh, I got you 50p, by the way. Well, you can have that back. <laughs> All right. Arsenal, are you ready? 
all ready to go. It's quite a tall order. It's three to beat. If it's a draw, I don't know what's going to happen. So we've only got one prize. OK, once again, Jason Banks here. Stop the fans, please. Go. You're on. Trophy to Jason. Jason, would you please present Liverpool with a Ratatouille trophy? Well done, Liverpool. Commiserations, Arsenal. You did well. Oh, they're all having a go. Okay, then. We've got time for. You can have a go, can't you? Yeah. While Liverpool are celebrating, Jason McAtee is going to have a go. Get back round there. Right, here we go. No, go on, you're all right. I won't get it in. Oh! You nearly got tubes, though, Bradley. Yes, you had a quick go. <laughs> oh, showboating! Unlucky. Come on, Alan. Oh, unlucky. Choose. I must just check that you're all right, Choose, because you got a bit of a whack, didn't you? And that you got a bit of a whack from Bradley. You're all right, are you? Well, no, he's having another go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, come on, Bradley! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> All right, there was Feed the Goat. Well done, everyone. Uh, congratulations to Liverpool, who won the competition here outside. Commiserations to Arsenal, but never mind. Do you know what history says here? I did not tell you this. Last week, yeah. Whoever wins outside in Soccer AM loses the game, loses the football match in the afternoon, because Barnet won last week. All right. Tim has gone, as we know, to take the match ball to the Millennium Stadium. Here are the live pictures from over the road where he is inside the helicopter with Fenners and David James. They are off to Cardiff right now to deliver the ball. That'll be the one that sits on the spot as the game kicks off. We will see them take off live straight after Pick of the Week. Bradley Walsh. Yay! FA Cup legend Alan Clark. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm, I'm sorry, Kat, I'm convinced that that crossed the line. We're going to have to scrutinise that tape I for next think week, I think. Is. All right, and uh, Joanna the Soccerette has been with us. Thank you very much. And of course, we have had Liverpool fans in the studio. Oh, We've also had Arsenal fans. <laughs> Thanks very much, chaps, for joining us this morning. That's it for this week. What we're going to do now is we're going to cross over live to see if Tim's had to change his trousers yet. <laughs> we are going to join him for takeoff to the Millennium Stadium, Cardiff. <laughs> FA Cup final day! <laughs> oh,